Louise. Mm, glorious, Jane. Uh, an Oscar-winning performance, you could say, for all the weather at the moment. Is it going to last? No, unfortunately. It will get noticeably colder. So enjoy the sunshine if you are lucky enough to have it. There is a little bit of cloud today, and that's across the Northern Isles. It's producing a few showers and a little bit of fair with a cloud to the northwest of the Great Glen as well. But elsewhere, lots of sunshine. More sunshine in comparison to yesterday across Scotland and Northern Ireland. I might just have to say, though, these little tufts of cloud may well develop into shower cloud in one or two areas. Just a small chance maybe in Northern Ireland, Scottish borders of a rogue isolated shower. But elsewhere, light winds, lots of sunshine. Let's stick with the positive. Absolutely glorious afternoon out there. And once again, those temperatures responding way above where they should be at this time of year. A good eight or nine degrees in some spots. We could see highs once again of 20 Celsius, 68 Fahrenheit. Through the night tonight, we still keep that high pressure, so clear skies through the night, allowing those temperatures to fall away. Yes, we keep the cloud into the far north, and so a few showers into the northern hour, so temperatures here holding up. But where we've got those clear skies, touch of light, frost, maybe a little bit of mist, just like the last couple of mornings, but once again, another glorious start. So it's the weekend. We're going to continue to see a little bit of low cloud across Western Scotland and Northern Ireland. Elsewhere, dry and sunny. A bit more of a brisk breeze, particularly down across the Suffolk, Southeast and Channel coast here. That'll just take the edge off the temperature a little bit. And with that breeze coming around from a northeasterly, coming in off the East Coast, off the North Sea as well. Here, temperatures around 15 or 16 degrees. So sheltered Western areas, Best of the warmth potentially on Saturday. Don't forget, British summertime begins Sunday morning as we put the clocks back. So yes, we lose an hour, but we gain more in the way of daylight. However, unfortunately, it's the sign of the change to come just in time for British summertime. How ironic. More cloud coming in off the North Sea. So for England and Wales, it could be a bit more grey, a bit more gloomy from time to time. So the best of the sunshine potentially on Sunday is going to be the further north and west you are. Underneath the cloud, those temperatures might be a little bit more subdued at around 14 or 15, but we should see temperatures potentially peaking at 17 Celsius. It's going to get colder still as we head towards the beginning of April with a northerly wind driving down those blue colours all the way south. That basically means with each day as we go into next week, just that little bit colder and the potential for a little bit of showery rain from time to time. Jane.